now let us discuss about tcp data transfer in the last video we have seen the tcp connection establishment we know that the connection will be established with the help of a three way handshake procedure so once the connection is established between the client and the server then both can transfer the data we know that uh, tcp uses uh, full duplex communication so that means both client and server can sense the data simultaneously also uh, here uh, this part represents client this part represents server here client is sending two segments so this is segment 1 and this is segment 2 where each segment size is 1000 bytes 8001 to 9000 so segment 1 size is 1000 bytes segment 2 size is also 1000 bytes whereas server is sending one segment server is sending one segment where size of that segment is 2000 bytes so initially client is sending a segment to the server so here uh, uh, client is sending uh, that segment data contains the bytes from 8001 to 9000 so here sequence number is nothing but uh, the first byte of the segment so here totally we have 1000 bytes from 8001 to 9000 so here what is the first byte 8001 so 8001 is the sequence number of the segment as well as client is expecting 15001 sequence number from the server so this acknowledgement 15001 specifies that client is expecting a segment where the starting byte of that segment is 15001 next client is sending another segment to the server where that segment contains data of 1000 bytes starting from 9001 to 10000 we know that sequence number means the first byte of the segment so here what is the first byte 9001 so here the sequence number is 9001 so here also acknowledgement is 15001 just like segment 1 so this acknowledgement 15001 specifies that client is expecting a segment from the server where the starting byte of that segment is 15000 15001 okay next server is sending a segment to the uh, client uh, here we are using a concept called piggybacking client and server both machines are using a concept called piggybacking piggybacking means along with the data along with the data the corresponding mission is also transmitting the acknowledgement so here this is the data along with the data the client that mission is sending acknowledgement also so if you see this segment also so along with the data it is sending some acknowledgement so along with the data it is sending some acknowledgement so tcp uses a concept called piggybacking piggybacking means along with the data the corresponding mission may send acknowledgement for the previous frame or previous data so here server is sending a segment to the client where the data totally contains 2000 bytes the first byte is 15001 whereas the last byte is 17000 we know that sequence number means the first byte of the data here what is the first byte of the data 15000 so 15000 15001 so that is the statement here so while sending the data the client is sending an acknowledgement called 15001 so this 15001 specifies that client is expecting a segment where the first byte is 
So here what is the first byte? 15001. Here what is the sequence number? First byte is 15001. Next it is providing acknowledgement as 10001. So it specifies that, it specifies that server is expecting a segment from the client where that segment first byte is 10001. So in this way the data will be transferred between client and server. So both client and server can sense the data. So we can say that it uses full duplex communication. Why? Because client is sending the data as well as server is also sending the data. In addition to the acknowledgement, server has some data to send. So it is sending the data also. So this is about uh, TCP data transfer. In the next video, we will discuss uh, another connection phase that is uh, uh, TCP connection termination. TCP connection has three pages. In the last video, we have seen the first phase that is TCP connection establishment. In this video, just we have seen the second one that is uh, TCP data transfer. In the next video, we will see the third phase that is uh, TCP connection termination.